2007 Jeep Wrangler 4x4 with a 3.8 liter V6. Customer states, it ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Now, customer states, check engine lights on, and uh, it stalls sometimes, runs kind of rough. Uh, this particular vehicle has approximately 201,115 miles. That's my guess. Let's hit the button. Oh, look at that, I was exactly right. Check it out. I'm just kidding, I cheated. My scan tool told me what the mileage was. So without any further screwing around, let's just get right into the guts over here and see uh, exactly what our ECM is trying to communicate to us. Uh, let's see, P0300 telling us that random and or multiple misfires have occurred and P0303 citing that cylinder number three is misfiring. Uh, I'm just gonna go out and test drive this. Um, it's not actively misfiring right now, not from what I can feel. So I do not believe that any misfire counts are gonna pick that up. Uh, let's go out and put this under a load and uh, then see what happens once it's, uh, it's got some driving load on it. When we get back, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the number three spark plug out and take a look at it and see if it's uh, the original or if it's broken or something. That's usually a good place to start with a misfire. For the most part, it seems to be running okay. So I'm gonna chalk that up to an intermittent concern. And I think they mentioned uh, when they checked in that it does come and go sometimes. So again, we're just gonna go ahead and look at those secondary ignition components. And if that uh, leads us to nowhere land, uh, we'll go a little bit deeper. But yeah, so far so good. Feels okay. Squirrely little things. Must be that teeny tiny short wheelbase. Here it is, I found it. Why are you sitting in the middle of the road? Homo sapiens, I do not comprehend. Anyway, it definitely, uh, definitely feels like it misfires under a load. If I go to accelerate, yep, here it is. I feel it right here. It's falling on its face. By the way, in case anyone is wondering, that uh, annoying noise down there is an off balance or a, we'll call it a leaf filled fan cage. We get that a lot here in Florida. The, uh, the live oak leaves make their way down into the squirrel cage for the fan and then as the fan is spinning it's going on the blades and that's the noise we hear. I can prove it by turning up the fan speed. All right, that would drive me insane if this was my car on any speed. really bad off of this stoplight. That was a lot of shaky shaky. Oh yeah, thing barely gets out of its own way. There it is again. No power. Misfires. Alrighty, back at the shop. Let us pop an easy hood and uh, pull a plug out and see what's going on here. Powering down. Beep. Let me out. One, two. Ah, ah, ah. All right, let's just put this hood into service mode. There we go. Okay, so number three was our coated cylinder, and uh, this over here is number three. Wow, that's uh, it's pretty tight. Ooh, it's hot in there. What is this? No, we can't have wires on the exhaust manifold. That's uh, that's not good. Um, what else is going on here that I disapprove of? It's hot. Actually, you know what? I was wrong just now. I just rechecked my uh, my graph over there, or chart rather, illustration even, and it turns out that this right here is number three, which makes my life a whole lot easier at the current point in time. Because now I don't have to. Uh, dig in there to find number three. Uh, on a side note, I have found that all the uh, washer fluid has the evaporated. All right, wobbly spark plug socket. Get in there. Now I've got an electric ratchet here, but I'm not going to use the power feature to break this loose. I'll do that manually like so.
All right, what do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, spark and plug is out. Let's review it. We've got a spark plug gapper here. And we can just see where this thing gaps out at. Ooh, what, 68 thousandths? That's not good. Yeah, we've got a worn plug here for sure. It appears to be the original, and it's hot. Champion RE14PLP5. Yeah, I think that's the original. Let's see, what's the gap supposed to be? Ah, oh, plug gap 50,000. So, yeah, we're a little worn. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere with this. We have found something out of range. Let's go ahead and put this plug back. I want to go ahead and take a look at some of the data that's available now that we've established uh, a couple things. Click. Urine oven. Uh, click, please. Come on, get on there. Do it without burning my fingers there. Got it. So, we're under the hood here got this thing running and I heard what sounded to be like some spark escaping so I'm just gonna hang out here we're gonna keep an eye on this for a moment and see if we've got some electrons leaking out of the spark plug booth that I, I swear I heard it there was one you see that Let's kill the light I think we've seen enough here. We know the coil runs, we know the spark plugs are worn, we know that the wires are leaking electrons, we know the injector is injecting because it is running smoothly most of the time. So we're gonna go ahead and chalk this up to a failure of the secondary ignition system, which is gonna be spark plugs and wires. So uh, that's what I'm gonna recommend that we do. Let's go let them know, see what happens after that. Stand by. Okay, so here's the deal. It's, uh, it's 4.30 on a Friday, right? Uh, we have the estimate completed for this and we sent it uh, to the vehicle's owner. However, they have not gotten back to us. And, uh, and I leave it for on, on this particular Friday. Okay, I feel like being generous with my time right now. So uh, I'm not gonna leave this for, for Monday. For Monday, that's my word for fun Monday. Fun and Monday combined. Okay, let's pull this plug back out. Come here. Reverse click again. Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing plugs and wires on this particular engine. There's one. Ooh, it's still a little warm. Here, we'll get cylinder number one. We'll get that wire off next. Unclick. There we go. How's that one look? About the same. Next cylinder number three. it up a little bit. What? Uh, what cover? That's for that load up infinity. Unclick again.
let's mosey on over here to the passenger side and we'll pluck these other coils and and we'll pluck these other spark plugs out and uh wait for the parts to arrive all right going in long range style here I'm gonna leave these wires in place until the new ones arrive and I'm just gonna run replacements one at a time. That way we don't cross our streams, so to speak. Come here. <clears throat> Got it. And last one in the back. Got that one too. Alright, sparking plugs. We're gonna do this the easy way, right? And uh, Chrysler said, nope. You're gonna need compound wobblies. How's that one look? Yeah, about the same. retract my previous statement that these might be original Ooh, they're uh this side wasn't very tight so i believe these have been replaced uh, at some point let's get down in there it's hot and a tight squeeze at the same time yeah, I gotta love those hot talk squeezes. Yeah, for uh, lack of a better term, that thing was loose. There we go. All right. Waiting for parts. Hey, look at that. It's a sweaty knee print. No worries, we can uncontaminate this right now. Nice and shiny. Okay, while we wait, let's get rid of some of this corrosion. We'll just leave this alone for now. Let us do its magic. Now let's pull this intake tube off really quick. I want to get this throttle body some spray to uh, clean any buildup off that may be present. Let's take a look. Yeah, a little bit nasty in there. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's gross. Stuff is caked on there. Look at that. It's like actual charcoal type carbon now. Look at that. It's thick. There we go. Alright. Let's wipe down the bore of this get it as clean as I can. All right. Connector click. Safety click. Hose clamp click. There we go. Delivery man has arrived. I have a set of six spark plugs and a set of uh, spark plug wires. So let's go back over here to the easy side since uh, it's still a little warm over here on the not easy side and let's get these plugs installed. And once this side is done, I'll run the wires for this side and then we'll do the wires that go behind the intake over there for the other side.
hopefully this will have cooled off enough to make it uh, tolerable. That's the word, tolerable. All right, spark and plug. Time to go to your new home where you will live out the rest of your life in peace. And no, I'm not putting never sees on these. They don't come with never sees and they don't get never sees. guy in there there it is good threads are started right hmm a little tough to see there's an AC hose in the way but our wires drop stuff wires are right here on the coil you see the three there and three there Let's go ahead and start plucking these guys off for replacement. There's one, that's our number one wire. I match that up to a similarly sized new one. I accept this one. Of course, we've got to give it the lubricant treatment so that we don't have any arcing within the wire itself. Ooh, it's hot, still hot. Things are still hot in there. All right, felt the click. That one's on. That one's on twice. Uh, next, this is number three. This was our affected cylinder. It's the one that had the trouble code. Let's get this guy out. Again, I'm matching it up with the one that's closest in size. Inject my lube into both holes, there we go. Necessary clickage has been achieved. Oh, hot again, come out, come out of there. What is Pete listening to? Do you guys hear this? I think I need to have an exorcism done when I get home. Exercise the demons. Alright, halfway there. Mathematically halfway there. Uh, Regarding effort, not so much because these other wires have to run all the way around behind the intake and then down over to the plugs. Speaking of which, let's head on over there. We have three more plugs to install. Like I said, I've already checked the gap. They're all at 50 thou like they're supposed to be. So we don't need this. Okay, spark plug on cylinder two coming in. Forgive me guys, I realized doo -doo 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 -doo, that the view is leaving something wanting here. Best I can do with the toys that I've got to play with right now. Click. There's one. Next. And they're only getting harder as they go. Wouldn't be so bad if this thing wasn't uh, kind of piping hot, but this is what you get on a Friday afternoon.
and clickage. Okay, this is the one where we lose like all view of what's going on because my my phalanges are going to be the primary obstruction here. Uh, oh, come on, it's hot. Where's the hole at? Uh, it's there and back. I, I feel the rim. I just can't get it lined up. Come here. Uh, yeah, 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 we got it. Good. I'm gonna tighten this one slightly different. I'm not gonna use the electric ratchet because that's just a great way to induce some slippage in that uh, could break my uh, my spark plug, and that would be bad. Oh, come on, hurry up, threads. Flangey fatigue. Okay, I'm just gonna go in long range with the extended ratchet here and tighten this down, finalize it. Right there. Click. Got it. All right, I'm fishing out the wires. We're gonna start with the one in the back. Tug on it until I see which one it is over here. Which I think it's gonna be, oh, what do we got here? This one, is that the one? Sure is. Okay, let's go around to the other side again. We'll finish uh, snaking out our wire. And then we'll snake in our new wire. We've got the uh, wire here, and I think it's, which one are you? I think it's this one. And uh, yeah, it was. Okay, there's one. And again, let's get lube in these, do both holes at the same time. Yeah, that one got a little messy. There we go. And go through and under and around. It's like tying your shoes. And then, and then click. Okay, now we're going under again. Oh, this is gonna be hard. I cannot reach. I'll just shove it in there and hope for the best. Ah, got it, got it, got it. There we go, pull that guy in. And that's for the back plug. Ooh, it's still hot. Okay, that one's on. Next, next victim please. What do we got? Let's see, not this one, this one. No, that's the one I just did, not that one. This one, there we go. Oh no, I lost the one that I was tugging on. Come off. Come off without coming off violently and causing me to cut my finger. No. And so I use a tool to help us. You know, maybe I was being a pessimist at first. This isn't as, as bad as I thought it sounded like it was. I mean, it's still kind of bad, but it's you know it's not that bad. It's not like uh, it's not like Volkswagen bad. All right, coil side, get on there. Click. It says, and I'm gonna reach over and uh, route this guy right next to the other wire and get that one on it corresponding plug. Ew, I'm dielectrically lubricated. It's on my fingies. All 
I'm taking care to make sure these wires go right next to each other. That way you don't have one wire passing a hose on one side and then it passes another hose on the other side. That's just sloppy and uh, I can't like it. That one's on. Very good. RPMs on a cold start. All right, one more to go. One more. I'm getting excited because because I went home an hour and a half ago, so I'm, I'm ready to uh, bring my my wishes to fruition. Come here. Cannot reach. Past the EGR tube. We're there. Good. One more plug to plug in. Plug clickage, got it. Yeah, victory is mine. Woohoo! Going back in. All right, forewarning, this is gonna stall immediately after startup because there's still some of that spray in the throttle body and as soon as that clears out, she will run normally again. Not right now, fan. Begin starting now. There we go. All right, let's plug it back in. We're gonna go ahead and clear the trouble code out and we're gonna go and uh, hit the row ad again for another test drive to verify that the misfire under load condition is uh, no longer present. One final inspection of this area. Let's see, no more tools, no more parts, uh, nothing on fire. Exiting service mode now. There. Do, 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 do. Brake clean, gravity. Oh yeah, I know I didn't use any brake clean for this video, but I want to do this anyway. Okay. Sorry, Eric, I had to. Oh, you got it? Bro, you got it out of there? Props to you, man. That was hardcore. I want to keep it now. You're going to keep it? I want to keep it. Throw it off of the building. It's evil. I'll throw it. Does it make a noise? No. Good job, bud. Good job. Proud of you. Okay, we're back in the scan tool. Sorry for the wind noise. It's uh, pretty hot in here, so um, I cranked the air up. Clearing. Clearing, 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 clearing. Thank you. Erased. Yep. Restarting air conditioner now. Ding. All right, let's get out of here. Verify that we're good. And uh, we can parkings this auto and have a good weekend. Backing up, reverse, honking for safety. Never mind, it's broken. Beep. Looking good so far. All right guys, so right now is a very high traffic time. So uh, I am not going to go out there and record and talk to you and drive and confirm a repair at the same time. Uh, I know I'm skilled with the multitasking bit of business, but uh, if I can cut out one distraction, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right now. It appears that this thing is in excellent condition and the problem has been solved. Because I cannot bring you guys over there to drive around, I'm gonna park right here while I take this opportunity to thank all of you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this video for you to watch. If in fact you did enjoy this video, please feel free to communicate that to me highly effectively by happy tapping that like button down below. While you're down there, and if you have not done so already, or if this is your first time here, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. That way you can ensure that you do not miss any more of my future content. So again, and as always, thank you for watching. And most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Ending transmission now.
beginning weekend now.